This is uh, Mr. Ng going over the pretest. Um, question number one, geometry teacher distributes sheets of construction paper to her class so that you can create an open net of rectangular prisms. She constructs her students to cut squares from each of the four corners of the construction paper and fold up the remaining sides to form a box without lid. Each set of construction paper is 24 inches long by 18 inches long. Let x represent the side length of the corner, square, and inches. Write a function v of x to represent the function um, the volume of the box in terms of x. So here's my visual. Got to cut out those corners. That's an x and an x. So essentially what you have here is um, this is 18 inches long, but you need to subtract the x and the x. So my volume function is 24 minus 2x times 18 minus 2x times x. Remember volume is just length times width times height. Um, so that's a. B, what is the greatest possible integer of value of x? So basically they're saying um, what value can you actually put in there and still get a volume. So I made a chart. We did this in our packets. Um, x represents the length on the cutout square. Uh, length represents 24 minus 2x. Width represents 18 minus 2x. Height represents x. And then I multiply those three to get volume. For example, to make my chart, I put in x equals 1. If this represents 1 and this represents 1, then basically I'm subtracting 2. So 18 minus 2 times 1 is 18 minus 2, which gives you 16. Um, and then this one will be uh, 24 minus uh, 2 times 1 is 2. So 24 minus 2 gives you 22. And then the height is equal to x. So that's 1. You multiply across, you'll get um, 352. So here they're looking for the greatest possible integer, possible value, which is 8, because it gives you a, a positive number. If you choose 9, it'll give you a volume of 0. For what integer value of x is a volume of the box a maximum? So you're looking at this here list, which is the biggest number. That would be 648. That would be with a x value of 3. So the dimensions of the box are 3 inches, 12 inches, and 18 inches. and has a volume of 648 cubic inches. Question number two, uh, the end behavior of a function m of x equals 5x to the 7th minus 3x to the 4th minus 2x plus 1. Um, I, know, I, represent, I recognize this is an odd function. The easiest odd function is x to the 1st. Starts down, ends up. It's just a linear equation. It's positive. The end coefficient here is positive because there is no negative sign. So my graph should look something like this. Remember for the end behavior, you should have the sentence frame here in blue. As x approaches positive infinity, I mean you're going to the right, you'll notice that the arrow is going towards up. That's f of x is approaching positive infinity. And as x approaches negative infinity, so you're going to the left, f of x, the y value is going um, negative infinity, which is going down. Term the product h of x of the linear and quadratic uh, factors. f of x equals... Um, 2x squared minus 3x plus 1, and g of x equals uh, 5x plus 4. So it's saying determine the product, which means multiply the linear. This is a linear because it's power of 1, and then quadratic to the power of 2. So when you multiply those two, I did the box, just multiplying. 5x times negative 3x, negative 15x squared, negative 3x times 4 is negative 12x. 5x times 1 is 5x, and 1 times 4 is 4. So I get h of x equals 10x to the third minus 7x squared minus 7x plus 4. That's my answer. Notice so those in descending order. And then question number four, uh, state whether the graph uh, represents a function that is even, odd, or neither. Explain your reasoning. Uh, notice how in here it does not mention the word degree. So if it doesn't mention the word degree, then it's talking about its symmetry, and it has a graph here. So the function is neither because, number one, it's not symmetric about the origin. So this is the origin. Uh, notice how you have kind of a slightly curved graph here, and then you might have one over here, but notice here there's nothing, and across the origin there's this bump right there, so it's not symmetrical about the origin. It's not symmetrical about the y-axis because you can't fold it. Remember my trick or my phrase is evenly, you want it to be symmetrical about the y-axis.